This is part 37 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Image Tag Helper in ASP.NET Core with an example. Before we discuss the Image Tag Helper, first let's understand how the web browser cache works, especially when dealing with images. When we visit a web page like this index view, most modern browsers cache the images of that web page. When we visit this page again, instead of downloading the same image again from the web server, the browser serves the image from its cache. In most cases, this is not a problem because images do not change that frequently. Now let's look at the browser cache in action. Right click on the web page and select view page source from the context menu. Let's zoom this in a bit. Notice the image tag right here. All we are doing is using the bootstrap class for some styling and we have set the image source to no image.jpg which is present in the images folder and this images folder is present in www root folder. Here is our no image.jpg which is a human head and we also have another image here image1.jpg which is a car. Now what I'm going to do is change the name of this image to something else like 1.jpg for example. And then let's change the name of this car image to no image.jpg. Now, if you understand what's going on here, we have changed the content of this no image.jpg file that our index view is referencing. Initially, it was this human head, but we have changed its content to this car right now. So this means when we reload our index view, we expect to see the car image instead of this human head. But look what happens when I reload this web page. Notice we still see the human head with a question mark, our old image. Where is this old image coming from? Well, it's coming from the browser cache. If you do not want to use the browser cache, you can disable it. To disable browser cache in Google Chrome, click on this button right here and then point to more tools and select developer tools. You can also use the keyboard shortcut F12. Click on the network tab and then check this checkbox, disable cache. With the browser cache disabled, when I reload this web page, notice now we see the car image. The obvious problem with disabling the browser cache is that the images have to be downloaded from the server every time you visit the page. From a performance standpoint, wouldn't it be great to download the image only if it has changed on the server? If the image has not changed, use the image from the browser cache. This means we'll have the best of both worlds. Image Tag Helper can help us achieve this very easily. To use the Image Tag Helper, all we have to do is on this image element, use ASP append version attribute and then set its value to true. With this in place, let's uncheck this disable cache checkbox and then reload our web page. We still see the car image because that's the image on the server and let's also reload our page source. Notice the source attribute of the image element. We have this unique string value appended to the name of the image. By applying this attribute, ASP append version on the standard image element, we're actually using the image tag helper here. We can tell that because notice the style of this image element. It is bolded and purple in color. So this means we're actually using the image tag helper instead of the standard image element. Image tag helper enhances the image tag to provide cache busting behavior for static image files. Based on the content of the image, a unique hash value is calculated and appended to the image URL as you can see right here. This unique string prompts the browser to reload the image from the server and not from the browser cache. Each time the image on the server changes, a new hash value is calculated and cached again. If the image has not changed, the hash isn't recalculated. Using this unique hash value, the browser keeps track of whether the image content on the server has changed. Now, let's quickly test the cache busting behavior provided by the image tag helper. At the moment, we see the car image. On the server, let's change the name of the car image from noimage.jpg to something else like 2.jpg and then change the name of this image that is the human head from 1.jpg to noimage.jpg. We have changed the content of the image on the server. So this means this unique hash value will be recalculated. Notice at the moment the hash value ends with bgy. Let's reload this web page. 
notice we have a different hash value now so this is the indication to the browser the image content on the server has changed and it has to download it from the server so this means when i reload this web page notice now we see the new image content if the image content on the server has not changed then the hash value is not recalculated notice now when i reload this page multiple times we have the same hash value because the image content on the server has not changed so with this unique hash value the browser now has a way to detect if the image content on the server has changed if the image content has not changed then the browser will continue to use the image from its cache instead of downloading it from the server again image tag helper enhances the image tag to provide cache busting behavior for static image files based on the content of the image a unique hash value is calculated and append it to the image URL. Each time the image content on the server changes, a new hash value is calculated and cached again. If the image content has not changed, the hash value isn't recalculated. Using this unique hash value, the browser keeps track of whether the image content on the server has changed. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.